for me, the one change I would make would be about encouraging play. And I think the reason that that's important is because it allows not only young people and children, but also adults to understand some of the decisions they make, some of the development, the education. It's about choice, it's about a fundamental enjoyment of life and the reason that actually we are alive on this planet is to have fun and to remember the important things. Um, I, there, there are a number of reasons that play I think is, is vital. Um, I grew up in the countryside and mum and dad are you know, very white middle class background and they'd turn the TV off at a certain time in the morning um, and they would just say right go on, off you go, and we would scamper about the countryside and haystacks and go fishing and camping and light bonfires, um, probably, you know, play with the neighbour's cats. Um, and for me, that kind of childhood, that kind of freedom of where I could choose what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it, and that wildness of mystery about learning about myself and what was around me was was vital to the person that has made me who I am today and I think when I work with young people um, and I see you know I work within a city children and young people and I see that their education their play is on Facebook or social media sites or online gaming and I feel that their fundamental education on uh, sort of key core skills, I guess you would call them core skills, communication, um, how to speak to people, how to greet somebody, how to shake somebody's hand, how to understand and actually think for themselves is missing. And so, you know, there's play which leads to education, which leads to choice, which leads to freedom, which leads to an understanding of self and then self-development, ambition and aspiration. So. From thinking about my childhood and that wild magic of the countryside to where we are today, sort of 10, 15 years later on, um, I feel that social media, that play element, has, has been taken away from the children that I work with in particular. And that suddenly there's a prerequisite to being on BBM, to starting off or potentially causing the riots of last summer to you know actually having only engaging with people on a virtual virtual playing field and i think losing those skills and losing that vital contribution to their self development is where we will end up with a generation that plateaus that will just stay at a certain level and they won't reach for things they will stay where they're told and where they won't question their religion their culture why they're on this amazing planet and they won't reach for stars, reach for the magic which I know exists. Um, and I also think that it gets stuck in the classroom with you know such a syllabus that's overloaded. Uh, teachers are struggling to teach everything that they're told to teach. They're told to teach people for exams and pass exams and, and I think that actually when you engage with young people and children and you make it fun suddenly they're inspired, suddenly they want to do more with it, and suddenly you can see that sparkle with them. Um, but f And it's exactly the same with adults, and it's really strange, I will run the same, exactly the same training programme with an 11 year old as a 45, 65 year old, and each of them will take away different things, and each of them will go, oh my god, it's not death by PowerPoint, or it's, you know, it's fun, I played with Play-Doh today, I haven't played with Play-Doh since I was 20, you know, 20 years ago for some people and that when you watch them play even in a very serious sort of training session you watch them play with play-doh or doodle there's that sort of sense of imaginism and and creativity that i think really does get lost and particularly in such a fast-paced western lifestyle um i spent a year in africa as well and um, i volunteered with women and their orphaned and vulnerable children and the women were all affected by hiv or aids and i really saw that when they played and when they had that sort of sense of family and that connection with their family, those social values, that fundamental inspiration to be alive just continued and it felt great and I think we lose that in a western civilization, and I think we forget it sometimes. So that would be the biggest change would be to encourage play of all ages and all sizes and all cultures and all faiths 
and all sexualities is to remember that actually play is, is vital to life.